The Amazon All or Nothing documentary trailer was released earlier today and the docu-series starts on the 31st of August. Could Harry Winks be heading to Manchester City this summer for £40 million? Lots of talk about on Don Bele's swap for an Inter defender. Jose Mourinho has been talking about how he thrives under a negative atmosphere. Danny Rose is coming back to Spurs. And pierre Emil Hoiberg turned down three clubs to join Spurs. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Friday, the 14th of August. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. In recent weeks, we have seen lots of teaser clips released by Amazon and Tottenham Hotspur Football Club ahead of the release of the All or Nothing documentary. Well, first thing this morning, Amazon and Tottenham released the official trailer. At 8 o'clock this morning, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club put the following announcement out. We are pleased to confirm the first three episodes of Amazon original series, All or Nothing, Tottenham Hotspur, will launch exclusively on Prime Video on Monday the 31st of August and will be available to view in more than 200 countries and territories worldwide. The nine-episode docu-series will give viewers unprecedented behind-the-scenes access to the club, capturing the passion and emotion of the 2019-2020 season and shining the spotlight on the inner workings across our footballing and non-footballing operations. The series follows players and staff throughout the club on their journeys during the season, including the arrival of Jose Mourinho as our new head coach, the highs and lows from the dressing room on match day, our extensive work in the local community and our response to the suspension of football due to the coronavirus pandemic. A further three episodes will launch on Monday the 7th of September with the final three instalments including an exclusive bonus episode available on Monday the 14th of September. Lastly, this statement reads, the official trailer has also been released today and is now available to watch here. If you haven't watched it already, please go and watch it. I will also put the link in the comment section below and the description box as well. Um, but the highlights of the, the trailer released. Um, Jose Mourinho um, having a team talk uh, where he says, good guys never win. You've got Deli Ali slamming a water bottle on the floor. You've got Hun Min Son very upset about getting a red card. Um, it is going to be highly, highly entertaining, these nine episodes of the All or Nothing documentary. Lots of newspaper reports out in the last 24 hours, all stating the same thing. The one I'm going to read now is from the Daily Star and the Sun, and they are stating that Manchester City are lining up a shock £40 million bid for Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Harry Winks. Tottenham's Harry Winks may be deemed surplus to requirements in North London, which could allow Manchester City the chance to swoop in and sign the midfielder. A report from the Daily Star reads Manchester City are considering a shock swoop for Tottenham's Harry Winks with manager Jose Mourinho willing to sell. The special one is embarking on his first summer transfer window in North London and the midfielder faces an uncertain future. The Sun newspaper state that Pep Guardiola is a big admirer of Harry Winks who could be on the move should they offer £40 million. Tottenham and City have previously done business when Carl Walker moved to the Etihad Stadium back in 2017. It then goes on to say the North Londoners have a whole host of midfield options and Pierre-Emil Hoybier recently joined from Southampton, further increasing the competition. Harry Winks signed a five-year deal last summer whilst Maurizio Pochettino was the manager. The Englishman was a favourite under the former Tottenham boss but doesn't have the qualities that Mourinho tends to look for in a midfielder. Interestingly, and rightly so, um, the report states there is a reluctance to sell to a big six rival. However, the Portuguese boss is aware that if he wants to put his stamp on the squad, he will have to raise transfer funds through player sales. 
The report also mentions Tottenham and French midfielder Tangi Ondombele. Uh, it says that Tottenham could also offload record signing Tangi Ondombele just a year after signing him from Lyon. They are highly unlikely to recoup the £65 million it cost them to sign the Frenchman, although club chief Daniel Levy is known for being shrewd in the transfer market. No Tottenham midfielder appeared for them uh, more than Harry Winks last term as he made 36 appearances in all competitions. A report out today from The Athletic and they are stating that pierre Emu Hoybier turned down three other clubs to join Tottenham Hotspur last week. He turned down Everton, Monaco and Ajax and all of those three were actually offering more player wages as well. But he chose Spurs because he wanted to work with manager Jose Mourinho. Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho has been talking to Mastercard about how he thrives under a negative atmosphere. Um, talking about playing at home or away, he said, at home you have better conditions to win than away, so you have more pressure to win at home. I like the negative atmosphere. I like to have people against me. I like to be with the fans supporting the other team. A transfer rumour today from the Daily Express and they are stating that Tottenham to table contract offer to Jose Mourinho target amid Inter Milan swap talks. Tottenham are interested in signing Inter Milan ace Milan Skriniar. Tottenham are preparing to launch a bid to sign Inter Milan defender Milan Skriniar next week as speculation continues to link him with a move to North London. Reports in Italy claim that Spurs could offer Tanguyon Dombele in return for the defender. Tottenham have already been busy this summer bringing in Pierre-Emil Hoybier from Southampton. The midfielder is expected to act as a like-to-like -like replacement for Ondombele, who has been tipped to leave this summer. Ondombele is reportedly unhappy at Spurs and was previously linked with a move to Barcelona. Reports in Italy claim that Spurs are preparing to offer him in exchange for Inter's Skriniar. The centre-back is viewed by officials in North London as a potential replacement for Jan Vertonghen, who has now left the club at the end of his contract. Skriniar is said to be unhappy in Italy under Antonio Conte and is keen to move on this summer after three years in the capital. Conte's job is believed to be at risk, but it has been claimed if he stays, Skriniar will be shown the door. And Tottenham are now planning to take advantage of the centre-back's position and try and convince him to move to the Premier League. Reports suggest that Spurs are going to offer up on Dombele for Skriniar next week in an attempt to solve their centre-back problem. Mourinho is keen to improve his defensive options ahead of next season, having already allowed Vertonghen to leave. Since November, when Tottenham Hotspur Football Club appointed Jose Mourinho as head coach, we have been linked with Chelsea star Willian. Well, today he has signed for Arsenal, of course, the, uh, the North London rivals. Arsenal are now paying Willian £220,000 a week. This is a report from the Daily Mail, and they state that Arsenal deal sees him become one of the top 10 highest Premier League earners. Now, we all know that Daniel Levy and the Tottenham board are never, ever going to pay a player £220,000 per week. As I said at the start of the video, today is the 14th of August, so many happy returns to two former Tottenham players. Uh, midfielder Matthew Everton turns 39, and former defender John Lacey turns 69. So many happy returns to both of you. A transfer rumour from the Sun newspaper in the last 24 hours, and they are stating that Sheffield United are keen in bringing back midfielder Jack Brooks to the club. Um, also a target for Liverpool and Tottenham, but he is being valued at a whopping £35 million. A report out this evening from the Shields Gazette and it states that Danny Rose saga takes another twist. After spending the second half of the season on loan at St James's Park, it was widely expected that Newcastle boss Steve Bruce would launch a bid to try and secure fullback Danny Rose on a permanent basis. 
Seemingly out of favour at Tottenham, it looked to be the deal that suited both parties, with Newcastle United in the market for a left-sided defender this summer, but the Football Insider claimed that there has been no contact between the Magpies and Danny Rose since his deal expired, with a permanent deal thought to be unlikely. Instead, they claim that Steve Bruce has his sights set on an unnamed target to replace Danny Rose. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything that I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't already subscribe to this channel, please do hit that subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Tottenham news. Stay safe and well. Have a lovely weekend. Come on, you Spurs. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I have been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.